Hello everybody, Thy Lord Root here, and welcome back to our Prison Architect tutorial. As you can see, our guys have just finished building our walls, and they've cut down a bunch of trees. Our cash flow has actually gone up a little bit, because we have actually done some exports. Well, it's time for us to start thinking about how we're going to build this prison. And uh, there are a number of approaches here. This is meant to be a stepping stone. So I'm not going to get too big into logistics at this point. And that's largely because of the fact that logistics can get rather hairy. And we don't want to be hairy here. Well, well, what I'd rather like to do here is I like to come out here and I like to begin planning this guy as much as we can. So my thought is that the best way to approach this is that we have sort of this, oh, I suppose, airlock. That way a prisoner can't escape through, uh, I guess, uh, just walking through one set of doors. Now eventually, you know, through the day-to-day -day interactions of your prison here, what's going to happen is that you're going to end up with prisoners that will want to um, escape through um, these gaps because the guards are letting prisoners in and if you're not careful they can get through here it could be a very nasty situation if you think about it so instead the way that I prefer to handle this is I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna do a couple of changes we need several things here. I know that in the future we're going to need a room for visitors to come visit the prisoners, so we are going to do that. And uh, we are also going to begin by building our holding cell. So the holding cell is where we temporarily put our prisoners. And there's a number of things that we can do here in order to affect that we're going to want to really think about how these things are laid out. Uh, because we are going to have a couple of things here. So for instance, we just approved our extra grant. So maybe we will want the bank loan next. We are still doing this guy here. So actually we'll go with maintenance real quick. Maintenance is an easy one to satisfy. We can then get the prison labor which will unlock this guy. And eventually we'll want this because we will want to be able to see room quality and things of that nature. Right now room quality isn't an issue, so we are going to leave that alone. I like to build these guys out as hallways. So what's going to go on here is that we are going to have, um, well, first of all, we can think of these guys here mathematically, but knowing that um, there's going to be furniture in here that's two by two, we can fit four of those in here. And then we can fit an additional um, four in this direction. Now, as it turns out, this can be somewhat tricky to set up. You'll just have to take my word for it for now. Because we do not yet need this. We are also going to have, I guess, things that are not yet designated here. But we need to expand this. Uh, this little administrative building. You know, well, maybe one of the things we can do is we can think about I suppose where we're going to put things at the end of uh, the day. So one thing that we need to think about, of course, is um, you know where we might be able to put a kitchen. We could repurpose that later on if we want. But uh, what we'll have essentially is we will have. Um, a little separate kitchen here, and the reason we might want to make it separate is because of the fact that prisoners will otherwise try to take advantage of this gap here. We can do numerous things here to 
to manage that. We could also do like this as well. And that'll give us a little bit extra room. So, main thing is that we're now going to have room for all these places here. Now, um, we're going to need at least six offices here. But uh, what we can do is we've got this awkward thing going on. Now, make sure, of course, for consistency that we, um, we pick the same thing here. And I know really two things. I know that we are going to want to preserve the walls here because they are important. We don't want to tear those guys down. But, you know, maybe these walls we would. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over here like that. And I could wait for them to build it, but that's rather pointless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing the bits here. And this will allow us to make this awkwardly shaped room here. And that'll pretty much get us to the point that we want to be here. I guess the uh, best thing to do is to begin skipping past this. So you'll see that one of these walls here is going to be dismantled as a result. And we'll watch these guys, you know, do their thing. They'll tear down that one wall there that doesn't need to be there, and they will replace it. Now, of course, if you accidentally place too much in the way of foundation, you can get these guys to, um, you might click and they will remove that little bit of foundation. I think they will actually remove the entire foundation in that, uh, in that particular case. But, uh, we should wait, I suppose, for this to finish. You can see there's a lot of clearing. We're making a lot of money here. But before we do, we need to actually get one more grant. And that would be the Inmate uh, Health and Well-Being. Now, it would seem like the most attractive grant to get at this point is the Reform Through Education Initiative. That's a bad idea, because this actually takes a long time to complete. And uh, I usually save this one for last. Because, as it turns out, if you meet the requirements for the grant, then what will happen is you'll get it instantly. So this allows us to begin building, uh, well, for one, it'll allow us to begin building our um, other things here, our holding cell and our yard and things like that. So we will allow these guys to uh, continue their work, and we will see you here in a bit. I might try to time lapse this if I'm figuring it out. Okay, so we are back, and uh, you can see that we've just completed our building. We are just about to complete our bank loan, so I'm going to do some things here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take micromanagement and land expansion here. Those will become important, and uh, the whole deal with the land expansion is that it will allow us to, I guess, grow eventually. But let's talk about some things now that we will need. The uh, first thing to point out is that we haven't really talked about security. I've briefly talked about, you know, putting in this whole gridlock thing. And that is sort of important for um, keeping prisoners rounded up. But you see, part of the problem is these prisoners can now go around and um, they can go around this wall and totally defeat that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to put down walls. I'm going to do that here. Uh, we can choose brick again or concrete. I like them to match, so I'm going to go with brick. And at this point, we really have two options available to us. The first of which is to put a wall down here. 
Now, there's going to be some issues because we can zone these guys, right? And we don't have intelligence just yet. So we can't see it, but there will be contraband in some of these rooms. For instance, offices have luxuries like cell phones and lighters and cigarettes and booze. And um, hospitals have not only drugs, which we should probably avoid giving our prisoners, but they also happen to have um, other things as well which include something kind of like um well for instance that would include um like medical scissors so we don't want our prisoners to have access to that because they could dig tunnels with it which we don't want and uh in particular they can go around and stab the staff with it which um really is not our favorite thing to do. So I'm going to begin walling these things off. Remember that not everything has to be walled off yet. I will probably eventually for the sake of looks, but that'll be okay for now. There's also the fact that we're going to need to think about um, different security levels. Who can get through what? So a jail door only guards can unlock, and in that case, we happen to want the guards to um, only get to certain areas of the prison, because we know that staff won't be coming in and out. So I'm going to put a jail door here, and that'll be fine. However, um, with respect to this area, we're going to have staff traveling around. So I'm going to put a staff door here, and that means that staff can get through there too. Now, um, there are some drawbacks to using the staff uh, door there. That means, for instance, that we'll have prisoners that will basically be able to beat down the door, and we don't want that. This guy you know, is uh, rather interesting here. This guy is uh, a regular door. And anybody can go through that. That can't be locked, and it has the lowest HP. Well, I think it... Technically, it can be locked, but we'll put that here. And also, because we're going to want staff coming through here, we're going to put another staff door. Now, the way that I've designed this system is the following. That we're going to have a guard that's going to be in here, and that guard will um, be responsible for opening all doors in this particular area. That way, prisoners can go to the psychologist if they want, and they do need access to the psychologist in order to um, in order to freely visit, and they can go to the hospital if they need to. But the ultimate result is that. The, uh, they can't really escape. They can be searched. And that's what we want. Uh, we're going to put a kitchen up here, by the way. And I'm taking great care here. So we've got nine uh, here. We can put some sinks. You want to be careful, by the way, with your placement. Because, as it turns out, um, you want to make these walkways navigable so we can fit uh, some of our hardware up here and uh, what we'll find is that these guys will have trouble coming in if we're not careful so we really should be careful in that instance but uh, we'll I have to let these guys go for now. And while they're building our deal, you can see we still have um, some money coming in. What we're going to need to do next is think about our prison. Now, as it turns out, we um, have a holding cell here and some other things. I'm going to allocate room for just a couple of things here. 
Uh, these guys, I'll explain what they're here for later. But we need a shower, and um, in addition to a shower, we're going to need a holding cell, which I aim to put around here. Now, holding cells in particular, they have very, let's say very um, strict needs here. I'm just going to build these walls in. Uh, I'm leaving in a little bit of a gap, by the way, so that these guys can get out, uh, because it's not very helpful for them to be trapped. But uh, let's go ahead and do some zoning here. We have the holding cell, and you'll see that we require a bench and a toilet, and it needs to be at least 5x5, five five, but it can be more. Now, just because it requires that doesn't mean that that's all that you should stick in it, because... Um, you know, these are where prisoners who have not yet been assigned to a cell will go. And uh, we want these guys to pretty much do, um, we want them to go to places where, um, but we don't want them to be angry, let me say. Uh, we also have a shower here. That's going to require, I believe, just a shower head. And in this case, we could have a lot of prisoners. So what I'm going to do... As well, first of all, you'll notice that it'll say it's not surrounded by walls and a door. So what we can do here is I'm going to place a drain here and put a regular door. That way we can get out if needed. And that shower will now be taken care of. Likewise, I'm going to put a large gel door, or a small gel door here. It's useful as well, by the way, to put one here in the little visitation area. And you'll see why in a moment. But for the moment, I'm just going to wall this stuff off. So we'll come in here. We will put in a bench. And we can put in a couple, actually. It's good to allow these guys to walk around. These guys are... I'm going to put in a couple because we'll probably have a few beds here. This will mean that we can have up to 32 prisoners in here. And having some bunk beds will help because it will give them a place to sleep. So this will bring in enough for eight people. We're going to need toilets as well. And um, I'm going to put four in because that will accommodate pretty much everybody. And then you might want to put some entertainment in as well. Because without the entertainment, uh, they will start going mad. Things like entertainment and they need to... So in this case, they will need to be able to take care of their exercise. So I'm going to put in weight benches. That's going to be a rather big deal. I'm going to seal the rest of this off while we're at it. Well, let's, in the interim, talk about some things. You'll notice that we have this need for electrical cable, which we can take care of pretty easily. But the um, other thing is not so easy to take care of. So we can have these pipes here these large pipes, but we need to be careful. We can't use those everywhere. If we try, what will happen is the prisoners will try to dig through, and they will find it very difficult to escape. However, they do need access here to uh, other things. We'll need at least one shower head here, so I'm going to put that in. And, um... In fact, I'm going to put in four... And you'll see that now all that will be necessary is that we'll need to build a canteen for this. Now the canteen and the kitchen are different. But let's address both of these. And let me tell you first of all why it is that I want to build these things the way that they are. We're going to want to build a cell block eventually. And 
the deal with the canteen, of course, is that these guys are going to pretty much need to um to get in and out here. So I'm going to put a door here, but th that's not sufficient. These guys will probably end up having difficulty. Uh, they need to eat, so they're going to want to sit down. So I'm going to start doing some planning here. Now, for reasons that are purely preferential, I'm going to put down a couple of things here. Uh, I know that the cells that I'm going to eventually build are going to be 2 by 3 This is the minimum size of a cell, but we're not going to build one just quite yet. And in fact, you can see that um, we are a little bit off. That'll be okay. Uh, we could, in fact, uh, it would be possible to dismantle this guy, I think, and move it down if we want. Uh, we have to be careful about that, of course, but we could do it. Uh, sometimes you do make strategic decisions like that. So you're going to be put in the situation to where, whenever you plan these things out like that, that you're going to need to move things occasionally, and that'll be okay. And, you know, maybe, for instance, here, I'm going to want to put some things on. Now, uh, there are definite things to consider. So, for instance, these guys here, they are going to need to be uh, put in such a way that they will have access to everything that they need access to. So here I'm going to build um, just a couple of things. I'm going to build um, some rooms here for a place where they can eat. That'll be the canteen. And um, for planning purposes, what we'll do here is this guy will have um, this guy will have support here for really a number of places here. We're going to want to think about this in such a way that with these serving tables they require five by five. And so, um, you know, we're going to try to get this as close to the mark as possible. And then there's a little bit of room in between. So we can maybe space that out just a little bit more. And that means that if we want to make this so that others can come in, that we're going to have something kind of like this. Now, my preference is to leave room in between here. And what we can do, that way so that they can walk in, we're going to do a little bit of mathematics, because that's totally what people like to do when they play video games. Oh, um, First of all, each one of these tables is uh, some odd 20 by, I don't know why I did that. There's some odd 20 by, um, or 4 by 3. That's with the, the benches, the places for them to sit. And the benches are good to use in this case. That means that here, each one of these seats eight. That means that we've got here 20, so divide that by 5, and that means that we have 4. Multiply that by 8, we can see 40 prisoners. And same here. This guy here will seat 40 prisoners. So we've designed a prison, or a canteen, rather, that can now support... Oh, uh, I think it's some odd um, 80 prisoners, and that'll be good, because as we expand our cell block, we're going to need places for people to sit. Uh, there's another 
strategy we can use here, which is going to be one large cafeteria. That is not so useful, in my opinion, because the one large cafeteria suffers from the drawback of putting a whole bunch of people in one place. So we are going to avoid that. And because we don't have to build anything else here, we're just going to go through, we're going to build our canteen. I'm going to make it out of concrete this time. We're going to do like that, and I'm not going to include the rest of this just quite yet. Uh, the other thing, too, about the serving tables is each one of those serving tables feeds 80. So um, we might actually be overdoing it a bit. For the purposes of symmetry, I like having that, though, so, um, you know, we'll keep that. But you're going to notice here that we're going to have some places where these guys can sit. And I'm just going to... Well, this guy needs to have the tree dismantled. Uh, other than that, we're going to need to take care of a number of things. So, like, the electrical cable has to come over here. I am also, since I decided to move this, I'm going to dismantle the water, and we might as well do this before we have prisoners, because then they will start to complain. And uh, what we can do then, is we can extend the staff room, which maybe isn't such a bad idea. But you can see now we've got our logs in. I'm going to build this large gel door here. Might as well put one on the other side so that they can come in. And that's really the, the entire point of this is going to be that they are going to need to come in and do their thing. Now, uh, you can see we're running rather low on the whole budget thing. Tax relief is tempting, but we can't afford it just yet. So I'm just going to complete some of these grants as soon as possible. And in order to do the kitchen, we're going to need a sink, which we already know will fit. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and put all of them in. And we are going to let me just move this guy down here. We're going to need uh, some other things to make this room functional. We're going to need a cooker and we'll just put that down here. And we'll need a fridge, if I can spell it correctly. Oh, wait, you don't have to type it in. You don't want to. I like to type it in, but... You know, you can also uh, click on this plus thing here, if you want to look manually. Of course, sinks will require water. And so we're going to put in some small pipes here. And that'll be useful. You know, still, oh, we're not done quite yet. We also need to build a yard, which I'm thinking we'll build around here. Now, we're getting awfully close to the border here. And that's something to really think about. If I want to really build um, more in the way of foundation, I do need to be careful about how I'm planning that out. We're going to need to set some things behind here. I'm going to build a room like this. This will be our common room here. And in order to make this happen, we'll do like that. And then I'm going to designate the rest of that as a yard. And the yards are good because they don't need anything besides to be walled in, which we took the care to do. So we want these guys to sit here like that. And that will mean that they can come in and uh, do their thing. 
Which approach is better is really up to us. This could be wasteful. And this could provide uh, enough room for expansion. But we're going to leave it like this for now. At least until we get more money. That means all we need is the kitchen and the guards. And um, might as well get a medical ward going here as well. I'm going to start um, bringing these guys out here. The medical ward is actually called an infirmary, by the way. In case you are having trouble finding it. And uh, there is unfortunately this bug where sometimes it puts the room names in inconvenient places. All we need is a medical bed to satisfy that. You can see we're still getting our money back here. But uh, we need a canteen. Here, I'm going to stick that right over here. We forgot to designate, uh, designate rather, the kitchen. And it doesn't matter that these guys are unpowered yet. What does matter is that we are missing power from here. So I'm just going to do that. But they count as rooms here. And then um, we're going to take our serving table here. And there's occasionally a bog caused by the fact that this guy is not perfect. And uh, what we'll do is, before we really move on with our prison, I'm going to put down a table and a bench. And we can really start accepting prisoners at this point, and it would be wise to start accepting prisoners because of the fact that um, these guys, you know, well, we're... We're getting money from our exports, but we're running, we will run out of trees eventually. So we need two guards and two cooks, and those will be instantaneous. Two cooks here, and we have another thing as well. We're going to hire two guards. We're going to get our completion bonus there, and they are now all off duty. You can see here that we are slightly over budget because we don't have any cells so um, you know now will be the time I think for us to begin thinking about um, bringing in our inmates and um, that'll be important of course we could also um, you know we haven't done research in a while Security is a good thing for us to do, but because we have grants left over, and I'm going to leave this for the next episode, we're going to have two things, cell block A and prison maintenance, and both of those will give us enough money to consider moving forward, but until then, this has been Thy Lord Root, and I will see you later.